Let me just remind you that this pack is worth $70. 70 freaking dollars! Guys, it's Primus and Creator here, and welcome back to Machete. Now, today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Reactivate 2 pack of Soundwave and Optimus Prime. Now, before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to turn on post notifications so that way you guys miss any uploads that I do. And I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, if you guys don't know, I did find this 2 pack at GameStop. If you guys haven't checked out that video, please make sure to go check out that video because I was really surprised when I did find this. There was only one left. I tried finding the Bobby and Star Scream, but the guy told me that it wasn't available to January so that's that kind of sucks but nevertheless I was really excited for this pack when it was first announced Soundwave I was a little iffy about but Optimus Prime looked amazing nonetheless as you guys do know that this is from the Transformers Reactivate the game haven't had any update well really huge updates on it but nevertheless I'm really excited to review this will Soundwave change my mind is Optimus Prime as, as good as I think he's going to be let's find out taking a closer look here at Soundwave you can see that the head detail actually looks freaking phenomenal I do quite like this a lot you do got the nice red for the little visor the eyes there and even then the little mouth plate of his looks freaking fantastic I do quite like that a lot even going down on the chest you can see the nice beautiful Decepticon emblem there now in the game he does have a scratch you know Win window type thing. I really wish they did do that for this one at least, but you know what? It's okay. It does look good nonetheless. And even then, just going down on the figure, you can see the beautiful amount of detail just to the to, to the blue, to the silver, to... I, I love the color scheme of like this blue, black, and silver. I do love it a lot. We do got some red though on the shoulders here, and then some silver right there on the forearms, and it does look really good. Now, I know people did have, you know, some complaints about this guy. And yes, I'm not gonna lie, that is a huge backpack. Let me tell you right now, it does not go unnoticed whatsoever. Yes, the backpack is huge, and there's nothing I can do about it. I tried, I really did, but it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't help at all. But you know what? At least it doesn't, like, bring down the figure whatsoever. This figure actually stands very good on its own but yeah the backpack is pretty huge and it is really noticeable now one thing i was surprised about is that this figure is actually a deluxe class i wonder why it wasn't a voyager class but i get it you know the pricing in order for it to be a 70 dollars same thing like with the bumblebee uh pack of bumblebee and um starscream so yeah i really th that big critique is the huge backpack it does not go unnoticed whatsoever but from the front it actually doesn't look that bad. Yes, he did skip leg day and I completely understand. But in hand, I'm telling you that this figure actually impressed me a lot more than I thought it was going to. In person, your mind will change about this sound wave. Yes, he has this huge backpack, but I'm telling you, it will change your mind. Now, this figure did come with two really cool accessories, so let's take a look at that now. Taking a look at his first accessory here we do have is his shoulder blaster. Uh, yeah, it, it actually looks really... I, again, I do love the color blue on this. I am a blue fan, so yeah, I do love this a lot. I do wish it did have like a little bit silver here and there, but that's just minor nitpicks, but nonetheless, it does look really cool. And for his second weapon here we do have is his um, uh, blaster as well, but his handheld blaster. Looks really cool. I see. I wish there was a little bit of silver there on the other one as well, but it's okay. Looks really good, and yeah, not too many complaints about it. But to put it on, it is very simple and very easy. On the top, you are going to have a little hole right there, and this will have a peg right here. And all you can do is plug it in like so, and it is a very firm grip. There you have him holding his shoulder blaster, and for his arm blaster, all you're gonna do is. His hand already has a hole here, has a peg right there on the weapon, and all you're gonna do is just plug it in like so. And then there you go, now you have him holding his two weapons, and yeah, this makes him look so much better. I am telling you guys right now, I am very, very impressed with this sound wave. From the front, you can see, but the moment you get a little bit, yeah, you see that, but it's it, nonetheless, I like this sound wave more than I thought I was going to in the beginning. Let me say that right now. For my first size comparison, here we do have the Reactivate Soundwave next to the Siege Soundwave, so that way you can see how they both do look there. And you know what? You can tell the subtle differences between the color blue in each one of these Soundwaves, but this is the only G1 Actress Soundwave that I do have in my collection. I do like how they both do look together. One looks bulky, one looks really sleek. I do love this a lot. For my next size comparison, here we do have Reactivate Soundwave next to the Bumblebee 
movie version style with that. You can see how they both do look there. And you can see the similarities once again, but again, different designs, but nonetheless, I do like this a lot. Again, the, the different colorations of blue. I am a huge blue fan, but you can see that this sound wave does tower this uh, this other sound wave, but again, this is a Voyager and this is a Deluxe, so I completely understand, but I do kind of like the Reactivate sound wave, man. I really do. And why not? Here we have Reactivate sound wave next to the Gamer Edition Megatron. Again, I can't do a Gamer Edition sound wave because they haven't done one yet, but you can see how they both would look there, and even though we are hopefully getting a Reactivate Megatron, please, I beg. This is how the Gamer Edition War for Cybertron version looks with the Reactivate version. And I'm not gonna lie, is it me or do they both actually do look really good together? I mean, maybe it's just me. I do like the Reactivate Soundwave. And I don't know, man, Reactivate is, is, is going up there. I think it's a little bit better than the Gamer Edition line, in my opinion. I don't know yet. I still gotta... And just because here's Soundwave next to his wave mate, the Optimus Prime. That way you can see how they both do look there. Not gonna talk about this too much, but you can see how the height differences. And, and yes, Optimus Prime does tower uh, Soundwave because it is a Voyager class and it's a deluxe class and if this is game accurate man optimus prime is huge now for the articulation the head is on a ball joint he can look up that far and he can look down that far now one thing i do have trouble with is that this tab right here doesn't really fully like to tab in so you kind of have to hold this down in order for him to look up and down but if you put it like super tight then yes but if you put a little bit of pressure it comes up which i really don't like i really wish there was another way to do that his arm does come out bicep swivel bend at the elbow and he does have a wrist swivel which is really cool he also does have a waist swivel which i am really surprised about so thank you for that his leg can go up about that far a really good kick and his leg can go roughly about that far you know bend so it can't really go like out too far but it can bend really 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 good he does have a thigh swivel bend at the knee a really good bend at the knee and he does have a Pretty good ankle pivot. The articulation on this sound wave is actually really freaking impressive. When I tell you guys that I was actually impressed from this sound wave for having this much articulation, I was impressed. I love this man's articulation. For a deluxe class, let me tell you that this articulation is freaking impressive. You guys are going to have a fun, fun, fun time posing this sound wave. And yes, even though the backpack is huge, it doesn't hinder the articulation as much as I thought it was going to. But alrighty guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to transform it into his really freaking cool looking alternate mode. And let me just say that I am actually really impressed of how easy this transformation is. So here's his really cool looking alternate mode. All I'm gonna say is that this has to be one of the easiest transformations I've ever done reviewing a figure. But let me just say that the transformation was so freaking worth it, dude. This looks awesome! Bringing him sound wave for a closer look, you can see the beautiful amount of detail that this figure has, even at the top. You do have the beautiful Decepticon symbol there. Do got some nice red for the lights. Do got some cages here. Do got this part all bordered up like armory. Looks for, dude, I, this has to be one of my favorite sound wave designs and in, in the alternate mode as well because this looks amazing do got some beautiful detail detail there in the back you can see the amount of detail that they went for this and even on the bottom you know what in the bottom it doesn't even look like he also transformed as well which i'm really surprised about do got the nice beautiful armory wheels as well this is like more like a zombie-ish type vehicle which i love i love again we know Basically, not too much about the game, so I'm really excited to see how we're going to be able to use Soundwave in the game. But yeah, on top, you do got the little weapon storage here. Do got one for there as well. I am in love with this, and everything feels nice and solid as well, which I'm really surprised about. It even does roll very well, and I honestly think that this is worth the two-pack. Soundwave is worth the two-pack. Alrighty, I think it's time to review his wave mate. So let's take a look at Optimus Prime. Now taking a close look at Optimus Prime, you can see the beautiful looking head sculpt there on the face dude i love this do got the nice beautiful blue for the eyes do got the nice face plate there looking awesome this has to be one of my favorite head sculpts for optimus prime i think they did a phenomenal job with this even going to the chest area i think it looks amazing do got this part painted silver there looking amazing and yes you can see the little accessory which he does have which is the matrix of leadership if you just open up the chest here in here 
I do love that they incorporated that. This has to be one of my favorite things about this figure. I love how it's see-through and I love the matrix. Yeah, yes, it can come out, but I'm going to leave it in there. But you can see the beautiful detail there on the matrix. I do love that a lot. Going down on the figure, you see the beautiful silver there going there on the stomach ab area. And, and even then going down, yeah. These parts are unpainted and then this is where we start getting to a little bit of the unpainted area, at least this part. I wish there was a little bit of silver here and there. that way it can like at least make it look a little bit better. But that's just a minor nitpick of mine. Going down the figure, do got the nice blue there. It's not like a, your traditional like light blue, it's more like of a navy blue. And going down, you got some silver there and his feet looking pretty cool. And going down the back, these wheels do roll as well, which I do quite like that. You got the nice beautiful Autobot emblems there on each shoulder and even the smokestacks are painted silver which not a lot of Optimus Prime smokestacks are painted which I'm really happy about thank you for that now going down to the back it actually fits very very well it doesn't make the figure look big or stand out by any means necessary you can see there that it makes him actually look really flush which I'm really surprised about now the one thing I do have a little critique on is these parts right here these parts do hinder his back his back leg kicks just a little bit not too much yeah you can see the unpainted stuff there in the back that's when I do wish you did have a little bit more silver here and there some beautiful details are going down on the back I do wish you did have a little bit more paint here and there but I actually do like this Optimus Prime a lot. Now this figure did come with two cool accessories, so let's take a look at that. Take a look at his first accessory here. We do have, is his, this has to be one of the coolest axes I've ever seen. Even Studio Series try to make, and it's not even this cool. See-through, I transclearant yellow. We got the beautiful detail there. Got like a little bit of black and then a little bit of the Energon X. This has to be one of my favorite accessories that I've ever seen on an Optimus Prime. I'm not going to lie to you guys because this thing looks freaking amazing. I do wish though that the other side was, you know, kind of like a full round ball and not like half a ball, but it is what it is. It does look cool nonetheless. For a second accessory here we do have is his blaster. Again, just your traditional, you know, blaster i do wish it did have a little bit of silver but nonetheless i do like how it is a matte black but let's put it on now the way to put optimus prime's axe is really freaking cool so what you're gonna do is the axe already does have a peg right there his hand already has a circle right there all you're simply gonna do is plug it in like so and then there you go there you have him holding his really cool looking axe i do wish it was faced the other way though i mean you can put it upside down but then it leaves like a big old open mark see that's what i'm talking about i do wish it was a full circle but it is what it is i do wish it was the other way around now his blaster it's gonna have a peg right here and you are gonna have a hole right there and but the thing is is that he doesn't really firmly secure it that's the thing there's something blocking right there it doesn't make him like fully fully grab it so whenever you go to pick up the figure it simply pops off like that it just like not even a little bit of pressure that's one thing i don't like about this there you have him holding his axe and his really cool looking blaster i do love his two accessories especially the axe the axe is probably the best accessory i've ever seen on an optimus prime but nonetheless you can see him holding the blaster there i did have a little bit of trouble posing this guy because of the blaster the blaster doesn't secure very well i don't really like that but I do love his axe though. Yeah, I think he does look really cool holding both accessories nonetheless. For some size comparisons here, we do have Reactivate Optimus next to the Siege Optimus Prime. That way you can see how they both do look there. And honestly, and honestly the Siege Optimus is probably the only kind of accurate G1 Optimus I do have in my collection. Nevertheless, you can see how they both do look there. And again, I do love the colors for the Reactivate Optimus Prime. It looks like a little bit of the Siege. The Siege is a little bit of a darker blue. I do love the Reactivate Optimus Prime a lot. For my next size comparison here, we do have the Reactivate Optimus next to the really hard to find, really rare figure, you know, 102 target, all uh, target exclusive only, Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. You can see how they both do look there. And the reason why I chose Rise of the Beast 102 Optimus Prime is to show you how posable this Reactivate figure is because we, we all do know that, re that the 102 Optimus Prime is really posable. Reactivate Optimus Prime is on par, if not a little bit less, then the 102 Optimus Prime, but nevertheless, this is impressive. You can tell that the, the Reactivate Optimus Prime does stand a little bit taller than the 102. So yeah, you can see the bulkiness to the slimness. I, I'm i really surprised. For my last size comparison, here we do have the Reactivate Optimus Prime next to the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime. So you can see how they both do look there. And yeah, Reactivate Optimus Prime towers 
the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, but the reason why I chose the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime is because they are both gonna be in the game. Well, not both gonna be in the game, they're both Game Edition figures, but you can see how great these two do look together. The, the design-wise, I love this a lot. I do love the Gamer Edition Optimus Prime, but the Reactivate Optimus Prime looks awesome as well. Again, Towers the Voyager, and this also Voyager as well. So yeah, that is a huge height difference. Now for the articulation, the head is on a ball joint. He can look up that far and he can look down that far. He can do a full 360 as well on the head. His shoulder can move out, bicep swivel. His arm can go out and in, which is pretty cool. He does have a bend at the elbow and he does have a beautiful wrist swivel, really tight as well. He also does have a butterfly joint a little bit as well, which I do quite like. He does have a beautiful waist swivel as well. His leg can move out roughly about that far and his leg can move back roughly only about that far because this part does hinder it, which I don't quite like. So yeah, that's a kind of a nitpick. He does have a thigh swivel a really good bend at the knee and he does have a beautiful ankle pit jeez louise man they give optimus prime the best stuff every time i swear the posability on this optimus prime i'm telling you right now it is fantastic the amount of poses that you can do with this Optimus Prime is insane to me. Because I knew that this Optimus was going to be posable, but I didn't know he was going to be this posable as well, on par with 102. That is what really surprised me, because 102 has fantastic articulation. But this Optimus Prime surprised me so much. You guys are going to have a fun time posting this Optimus Prime because basically he can do any pose you want him to do. But alrighty guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to transform him into his really fantastic looking alternate mode. I think you guys are gonna love it. So here it is. I don't know how they just keep making Optimus Prime's truck mode better and better. I'm genuinely surprised about this. The transformation was also really simple, really unique, and really easy, man. I, this, this looks, this looks awesome. I'm genuinely surprised. Wow, taking a closer look at this cool looking armory truck mode, I can I can we just talk about the fact that the front part here already looks amazing as it is? I do love the amount of detail that they went for that, like the little weathering effect. I do quite like that. And even in the front, it looks fantastic. I do love this a lot. Do got the cool looking Autobot emblem on each side, and even then, do got some nice, beautiful paint of silver. I love this a lot. Now, going down, you can see a little bit of unpainted plastic, which I do wish were a little bit silver. Even the back, it doesn't even look horrible. Like, everything about this figure feels nice and solid, and I'm really surprised by that, man. Nice silver on the hubcaps as well, and, uh, and the wheels do roll. Basically, this figure rolls freaking fantastic as well. Just like Soundwave, this figure rolls very, very, very well, and everything feels nice and solid, and that's what I love about this figure. There's no loose parts whatsoever. Everywhere connects where it's supposed to, and I love that. I love that a lot. And just because here is Optimus Prime, next to Soundwave, that way you can see how they both do look there in their alternate modes. And yeah, I I genuinely cannot wait for this. I am happy that, we're, that we got this pack. I really can't wait for the Bumblebee and Starscream pack. When I tell you that at first I wasn't all sold on Soundwave, Soundwave genuinely surprised me the most. I knew Optimus Prime was gonna be good, but dang man, I do, I am gen, I, I don't even know what to say. Both of these two have been fantastic and I, I genuinely love this pack. Even though it was worth, you know, a kidney, it's okay because I it, it, it was worth it. But alrighty guys, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to give you guys my overall review and my overall grade on these two figures. This pack just makes me makes me so excited for the Bumblebee and Starscream pack because let me tell you guys right now that if you guys find this pack, you guys are going to have a blast. And I mean a blast with this. So here's my overall review and my overall grade on this pack. Alrighty guys, there you go. There you have me review the Transformers Reactivate 2 pack of Soundwave and Optimus Prime. Now what do I think? Let's start off with Soundwave. I think Soundwave is actually a really great figure. Honestly, really surprised me the most. When I first saw images of him, I wasn't really like 
super, super, super sold on him. I can tell that the backpack was going to be a huge problem. And yes, the backpack is a problem. But for some reason, I just really like this design for Soundwave. I think they did do a good job. Not a great job, but a good enough job for me to like this figure. I think you guys will like it nonetheless. So for that, I do have to give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. Yes, Soundwave, an 8 out of 10 is a really great score. But there's just a couple nitpicks that I don't like about this figure. So let's talk about it. The first con I do have with this figure is, of course, the backpack. The backpack is huge. I wish there was a way to hide the backpack or at least compress it just a little bit more But yes, it does stick out whenever you try to turn them just a little bit and it, yeah It kind of sucks the second con will have to be roughly that where his head taps in Basically this little peg in order for, in order for him to look up. It's supposed to stay down that part I don't like whatsoever because it's, it's really loose at least for my copy I really don't like it. I wish there was a way it could just stay connected, but nevertheless, it's all right I think you guys will like this sound wave because the amount of poses that the sound wave can do is honestly really um, like like out of this world. I don't know what to say except that this sound wave really impressed me. Now let's turn to big boy Optimus Prime. First of all, I think that this figure is freaking fantastic. As with any Optimus Prime figures, they always tend to go all out on Optimus Prime trying to make him the best Optimus Prime that tops the other one. And may I just say that this figure is fantastic, not because it's just Optimus Prime, but the amount of poses this figure can do and the amount of detail that this figure has. Yes, there's some unpainted plastic here, here and there, but it doesn't diminish the figure whatsoever. He's big, he's bulky, and he's fantastic. So for that, I do have to give this figure a solid 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10 on this figure is freaking fantastic, but there's just one thing that kind of like, well, a couple, but like, there's just a couple things that I don't like about it, so let's talk about it. For starters, the chest piece area, that's something that I tried to squish in, at least trying to make it like compact with the little ab area, but it doesn't, that's just the way he was made. That's a minor to pick of mine. It is kind of noticeable, which I really don't like, but I wish there was a way for it to connect that. That's roughly around the first con. And then the second con is really more of a nitpick of mine, is I do wish he held the gun a lot, a lot sturdier, with a blaster a lot sturdier, because let me just say that that is freaking loose. There's a tab, or the, I mean, there's just something blocking the way for him to actually like hold it very, like 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 a firm grip. I really wish there was a way for like that not to like get in the way. Nevertheless, I do think this figure is fantastic. I think you guys will enjoy this figure. Both Soundwave and Optimus Prime are a great two pack. For the overall two pack, seventy dollars. I think it's worth it, but seventy dollars is a lot of money, of course. But nevertheless, I think you guys will have a great time. But alrighty guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on post notifications so that way you guys don't miss any uploads that I do. I really did enjoy this two pack. Yes, it was worth $70. And I'm pretty sure Bumblebee and Sasha Cream are gonna be worth another $70. But it's alright. I'll, I'll figure out a way to freaking get them as well. Because I think this two pack is definitely worth it. If you guys don't think Soundwave is worth it, I completely understand, but at least get it for Optimus Prime. Other than that, it's been Prime as a creator. Remember to stay calm and keep moving on, so I'll make sure you guys all in the next one till all are one. Bye!